You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. <laughs> All right, y'all. Uh, so, again, I talked about uh, this uh, last week. My next guest, uh, I showed you. Uh, I, was t I was on social media. Uh, and uh, I was talking about a variety of issues, and uh, I know uh, somebody in Atlanta who knows uh, my next guest. He was telling me about this uh, about this uh, shoe company, and so uh, they sent me three pairs of shoes, and Tariq Edmondson, he founded Nagas Footwear, and the new line is designed to empower customers with the purpose of teaching self-love, self-respect, and self-confidence. Uh, so uh, glad to have you here on the show. Yes, so, 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 so when did you start uh, the, this apparel company? Uh, in uh, 2015, it took me a year to find the shoes. The idea was a year before, you know, we would get beat. Uh, we would send out the money for the shoes, and, you know, it was a fictitious company. Wow. So I had to finally learn how to just go to China. And like I'd say, the people, that, the young kids, I Frank Lucas, that part of the game. Hey. Oh. We, went, <laughs> we went straight to the connect. So why yeah. did you go to China to have your shoes made? Because China, a lot of times people ask me about Africa, but what we got to remember about Africa, they got their foot up uh, behind in Africa just like they do here in America. So it's not a lot of places. Now I found now Ethiopia, but China is the go-to place for like Nike, uh, uh, Reebok, uh, Fila. So I had when I went in there, Everlasting, I saw all of those out there because I visited a few. I went on a little tour. I got a visa, a travel visa, business visa to come into the country. They picked me up, took me to the hotel, and they took me around. Any consideration of having them made here in the United States? Yes, that's a, a possibility, but at the moment, it's not what we could do. But we're definitely looking towards that. We're looking to go public. I want to talk to you about that. Yeah. We're going to do what Obama with the Main Street, Wall Street, the Main Street, crowd, equity crowdfunding, bring our people in on the Marcus Garvey side of the game. You understand what I'm saying? Where we can have shares and dividends put allocated out to our people in that way. Same thing with the colleges. We want to be able to step to the colleges, make shoes for them, give two-thirds of the proceeds back to the schools, you know, because this is a labor of love and for our people more than it is anything else. Because, you know, when I was thinking, what's the historians going to say 200 years of, of uh, in the future about what did we do 50 years after Brown versus the Board of Education, 50 years after the Voters' Right Act, what did we do? So when you look at Nike, you see that's the, that's a, the name of a, a, a goddess, a Greek goddess, you know, that was edified by, and then we stand in line for it, and you look at Reebok, and you see that that's, that's our oppressor. So everywhere you look, we wearing our oppressors mm. here. We're not going to beat us up about it because we, we so fresh, but we do have to start to uh, wear our own attire again. You know, it's like I said to young kids, it's like going to jail a man getting knocked out. And then when you wake up, you got lipstick on, and they tell you you're a girl, and you go for that. And then not only do you go for it, you wear the gear that they tell you to wear when you now have choices. You know, the rappers don't call our names. They, they, they call everybody else's name. But we're here to change that. Another thing. And see, that's, that's the thing that, that I... I have consistently said to people, because first of all, let's just be clear, there are, you mentioned, mentioned a lot of these rappers. First of all, a lot of them have got, done shout-outs to companies mm -hmm. and weren't even getting paid. Oh, right. Past the Kavazi 80. That right. Busta Rhymes started that. That's one. And, that's that's right. one. And that's Louis right. Vuitton and, gone. And, and, and again, I'm just, it, to me, is to me, is real basic uh, how you talk about how do you use your existing resources and then, and then how do you, in terms of uh, 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 building capacity? Yeah. Uh, and, and that's just really what it boils down to. Master P, uh, when him and his sons uh, announced uh, you know, the sneaker company, they, they were launching. Right. And their whole deal, they, they were talking about trying to sign Zion to a deal. I think yeah. he usually signed yeah. with Nike. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's sort of the same thing. And when you think back, and a lot of people don't realize this, but uh, Tim Brown mm -hmm. played for the Oakland Raiders. Uh, Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. People don't realize Tim had his own mm -hmm. sneaker company. Right. Now, the NFL would not allow him to wear his own sneakers on, because it was not one of the official right. uh, companies of the NFL, but Tim had his own sneaker line all the years he played in the NFL. That's all right. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. That's one to grow on. But, but yeah. so help me, because, I mean, I, I get, as Roland said, I get the China initially, because that's where the market is. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, with the vision 
-hmm. of coming back here or connecting with a black, whether it be African, Caribbean, or black owned here. So I know mm -hmm. that's that building toward that. Right. But how do we break, and how are you imagining breaking the mentality mm -hmm. of our people? Because I think about Stefan Marbury. Right. Who, of course, became, had a whole new career in China, That's but who right. tried to market a very inexpensive athletic shoe. 15 bucks and got trashed. And got trashed. Right. And, in fact, i never forget, I think it was 2020. I, can't, I think it was 2020. I remember seeing this segment, and they went to a, 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 a professor at a university uh, who was an expert on textiles and the shoes. Right. And they did a deconstruction. And so they basically took apart a pair of Nikes, and they took apart a pair of strawberries. Mm -hmm. yep. And he went through, and he sh he took literally took the shoes apart, mm -hmm. and showed the seal, arch support, showed uh, the thickness, the sole, all this sort of stuff. And he said the only difference between this Nike and the Starberry, he said, is literally that box and the logo. He said, so y'all are paying an extra hundred dollars right. <laughs> for the box. There it is. And he broke it broke it down, and and but but there were people who laughed. Stephon Marbury oh, no out, question. No and that was, and that was, just, and so how have folks responded to you? Yes. Have they said, man, why you gotta have this red, black, and green? Why um, can't you do this man. in other colors? Yeah, we hear that. Why you gotta do that? And the first thing I tell them is that we had a chance to do uh, like the other guys that came before us, like uh, cross colors, no roots to it. You know, as far in terms of name, historically speaking, Fubu, uh, Sean, Jean. It's like as if we don't have uh, no background. So I know. I didn't have no name, I'm not no rapper, none of this. So I said the thing that to come to the people with it come from where our ancestors, you know, uh, edified them with Marcus Garvey, you know, he that's where he represented where we had the black star line and we put our nickels and dimes together to make this thing happen. Cause when we started, you know, I just lost everything in the real estate uh, bubble at the time. So when I was but I bounced back. My daughter had told me how big uh, social media was. So I was like, Tasha, it's a time now that you can do your thing, girl. Get out here and make it. You know, and she was like, oh, yeah. I said, yeah. She said, well, won't you do something then? And that's, then I said, hmm. I said, okay, I'm going to So do what does something. the name mean? The guy says ancient Amharic. Yeah. Uh, for kings. Yeah. Ethiopian. Uh, yeah, Ethiopian. Um, I read the book Captain the Gas, which kind of goes the story of uh, of Solomon and how he came to the planet. So it's like the red pill in the movie The Matrix. You understand? If you swallow that blue pill and you look up this name, you're going to find a lot about yourself and you'll fall in love with not only uh, our, the uh, heritage that belong to us, but also the people who brought it to you. So that's what that's about. Mm -hmm. Just tell us a bit about the shoe price point. Um, okay, well, the, the shoes that he just showed, we call those the uh, Marcus Garvey UNIAs for you know, you know United Negro Improvement Association. Yes, sir. And then we have the red, black, and green that represent, of course, and that's $99. Mm -hmm. uh, some of them, we go with Nike. The ones that they sell in the Air Vapors, we remixed it because a lot of times people don't realize the law and we so caught up. Like when we have a suit, now I have on a suit, it might be a Pierre Ellis, you might have on a Vera Wang, so on and so forth, but it's still a jacket and a pair of pants. Come on, bro. You know, it's a cotton come from a plant. Come on. Leather bro. come from a cow See. and rubber from a tree. See. So I'm you understand on, I'm, so I'm, I'm on your site right now, sneakerscustom.com. Yes, and so Henry, go to my uh go to my iPhone. Th these are some of the uh ADOS. You know, we try to keep our hand on the post. These are some of the culture. boots that you have yeah. uh here, uh and all also, there are some of the uh, shirts. You also have uh, socks here as well. Um, now, you realize red, black, and green, the ADOS ain't going to get with that, brother. They said they didn't send, they didn't send us of slaves. I know, and we, <laughs> we serve that, That's not a slavery mentality. We, we no, serve yeah, yeah, because see, that's our problem as a people now. Oh, wait, now. wait. You and I star jumpers, not I yeah. can rock with that. Yeah, that's the you and I star jumpers, you know. Yeah, I, I see the, the onk on the side. Yeah, yeah we, see, we have to represent, that? and then we name, you know, we got the Nat Turners. We oh, oh, we oh go. wait, wait, wait. You got the Nat Turners? Yeah, yeah we're Nat Turners. So you deserve to start through any problem. The boosters are Nat Turners, but the gold right in the back. You got the Harriet They coming. And then we got the running shoe that's Nat with Nat on the Did I send you those, Rose? I probably was out of that. The running shoes. The running shoes. No, but you know, it's because the culture... And we were talking yeah. about this today in class, I teach a hip-hop class, and the young people, we were talking about the fact that 
black people between athletes and hip hop turned Nike from a running shoe company when I was a kid yeah. to a fit, and then turned around, turned Adidas from a literally playing tennis, which is where right. tennis shoes come from, uh, to that. And so, I remember Patrick Ewing had his own line. Yeah, how how could you, if you can capture a couple of celebrities, brother, ha, have you have you thought about reaching out to some of these people? Yeah, I've reached you, those out kicks to... make it on one video in the right pr product yeah. placement. The well, whole thing could turn. We were, exactly. So we, we, uh, John Sally got in touch with us. Okay. You know, he wants to do some some things for the vegan market. These are the Nat Turner right. boots you're talking about. Go ahead. Right. He wanted to do that, and um, we've been reaching out every rapper. You know, they had like we invisible because they, you know, they they you know they caught up too. Yeah, brother. So you know that's an uphill okay. battle. Okay. But the thing is, we keep fighting. Yes, sir. We plant the seed and we keep working. Yes, you know, sir. and then it's going to change. Yes, sir. You know, as we was called to do this work, and we know that uh, mm -hmm. our people's mind is going in a different direction. That's true. And we're not just building for us today. We're building it for our people. All right. So Lloyd Kirkendall asked that's this true. question. Roland, please ask how long. See, oh, before. Yeah. Oh, boy. Don't do it. Don't do it, Uh-uh. Wait. Uh -uh. Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm going to ask this question, okay. but then I'm going to say something, then I'm going to let you answer. All right, all right. Okay, so Lloyd Kirkendall, Roland, please <laughs> ask how long it takes to get here. I don't want to wait 30 days. Okay, put the camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'm going to need black people to stop allowing white supremacy to dictate their thoughts when we talk about black companies. See, Lloyd, your question should have been, if I order a pair of shoes, can I get them expressed to me overnight, two day, three day? Why is it that your first assumption is that it might take you 30 days to get a pair of shoes? Hmm. You are literally saying without saying that this black company is less than another company. I've been telling y'all this for the longest on this show. I told y'all when I was on the panel in Cincinnati uh, at Cincinnati, Mu uh, uh, Cincinnati Music Festival. And we're on the panel, and there's one brother who thought he was being supportive of me. He was on the panel. He said, uh, you know, we got to support Roland Martin and Roland Martin Unfiltered. And then he said, it might not look as good as CNN. I said, stop. My shit look good. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. right. <laughs> the fact, Lord, that you literally even... In, in, yeah, you damn right. I see you sorry. I asked the wrong way. No, Lloyd. Okay. You actually <laughs> asked the way a whole bunch of black people ask. Right. Mm. And so we need to stop automatically assuming right. that with a black company, the products will come late. I'm sure he about to answer, Lloyd, that if you want to pay extra to get these shoes the next damn day, hmm. if you right. click shop now, Come it on. probably has that option. Come on, brother. Yeah. If you want to get it in two day or three day, yeah. it probably has that option. Good. There yeah. are many products, Lloyd, that I buy from Amazon or others, and it says uh, next day, two day, or even ground shipping. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to need black people to stop making assumptions about black-owned businesses, yep. and you already are starting from a white premise yep. that what is black is less than. Yes. Black. Now you can answer. <laughs> Lord, well, I just want the shoes, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can I get my shoes today, Thanks brother? to the people <laughs> that supported us in the beginning, we can have them sneakers to you like Roland said. You know, if you want to pay the price, you know, you can have them for the next day, uh, a two-day tracking. Uh, or even three-day tracking. Wow. There it is. So I have a question for you. So you have a lot of support here today, which yes. I think is phenomenal. Yeah. Is this a family-owned business company? Yes, it is, okay. yeah. And, and the people built it. Off of social media, the, the, the miracle of the day we started out, I said, if I could show the people I can make this one shoe, mm -hmm. they'd get behind me. Mm -hmm. And the people supported us. We'll put a shoe out, we'll go viral before Facebook start playing with the algorithms, yeah. but we will go viral and people will wait three, four months for their shoe because they want to see us win. I said, brother, I ain't got your shoe. Brother, I don't want my money back. Just let me know you're going to give me my shoe. Let me ask the way you, we, 2015, you in Atlanta. handled us. You, in, you came out of Atlanta. Yes, sir. I seen your shoes. Brother Ankh and them boys, you came from yeah. New York. They, yeah, they wear your shoe. That's yeah. the shoe. That's the shoe. Because I asked Ankh, where you get them shoes, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, they right. had me okay. the best I'm cap secret for a long time. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm good. I'm ready to, you know, 
Let's get some get, shoes. Let's get some shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Yes, so, uh, and so now, uh, and last question for me. Uh, okay. I mean, any plans to uh, to do other shoes uh, in yeah. non-black and green color, black, yeah. red, and green colors? Yeah. So if people want just different looks or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they they can actually do so. Yeah, like we we want to begin to start doing shoes. Uh, like we see a, a niche in the marketplace now. Like for there's 450 NBA players, 100 of them have deals. We getting ready to start going at the rest of them. Because there's well, riches in the now, niches. Talk, talk too loud now. Talk too loud. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, because 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 also because understand that. Mm -hmm. uh, like for instance, uh, I cannot remember his name, but one of the players that was one athlete who played for Golden State, mm -hmm. yes, who he did he wasn't getting paid by Under Armour. Right. Um, and he was the one who convinced Steph Curry to go to Under Armour. To go to Under Armour. So they were sending him product. Mm -hmm. And so, to your points, people need to understand: not all these ball players right. have deals. Right. Mm -hmm. Only a t the top Un third right. have actual right. shoe deals. So right. when you see, oh, Kevin Durant's getting 20, 25 million a year. Right. Uh, Derrick Rose was getting 20 million. I think it was from Adidas or Reebok. Right. Uh, the deal that Allen Iverson hit. A lot of those cats are. I mean, they they're just get some of them are just get, getting product. Right. And not a lot of product. And so that's what people I think assume. Right. But don't quite understand. Go ahead. Yeah, we're going to do a dress shoe, so we're looking oh. to get with uh, different individuals that have the social media presence that could pull that, like, uh, you know, uh, Hashim and Zinger introduced me to Mike Roberts, uh, the businessman out of, we talked to him about doing a out nice of St. Louis, shoe yep. instead of uh, Stacey Adams. You have somebody who's a up, you know, name, and we'll do a lizard. We can go to Zimbabwe, get the lizard, make it done. Cause, you know, like out. I said, we work with a lot of people, <laughs> and people Bob, come right. to Watch us, that. You want some and gay. they oh, teach us. Y'all might, might want to do Uncle Roro. <laughs> Ro Ro hey, 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 look here. Oh, I want to talk to you about that. We're going to have to do that. I got a couple of followers. Yeah, we're going to talk, bro. Make sure you get a couple times and ask us. We can do that. That's what we do. Yes, yeah. 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 Just saying. Uh, yeah, I get you. I'll get you wow. Straight. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. We're looking to work with anybody who has a social media presence like yourself. Mm -hmm. We want to partner with people like yourself to build our board. I ain't making money. Yeah, we want to build our board to like get better advisors. But I know to take how us to money. overtake <laughs> Nike. Oh, yeah. The time is now. Same thing mm -hmm. we're doing yeah. with the beats. We go right, you know, a refrigerator. We're going to do the... You know, Dre Beats, we went to Hong Kong, we found the manufacturer. That's why Apple, that's it's why not Apple, hard to do. That's, 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 that's what they scared of. That's why Apple <laughs> bought the property. Right, they, they bought Dre for they, a billion. They, they bought but Beats. no other rappers are doing that except Ray J. He got smart. Right. But we that's where we at today, where we can literally swing the president to where we have really took over the whole game if we just get out of the thought is Nike is better, white ice is better than black right. ice. At the end of the day, right. cotton come from a plant, silk from a worm. Come on, Leather man. from a cow, oh, you rubber like from a brother. tree. <laughs> yes, sir. And all of it comes from God. So if we look to God Ooh. and keep a, keep away from our oppressors and go towards that, we're gonna be all right. Boy, I, look, I'll be honest, folks. Today, again, I ain't. I mean, I'm not. I ain't getting paid by Tariq yet. That we gonna get there. We gonna make it happen. No, but, no, but when, I put, right. when I put the shoe on, look, I have. I have a pair of Nikes. I got a pair of Adidas. Uh, uh, I got a pair uh, and shoes I put on and. Fit was the same, looked good, all that sort yeah, of stuff like that. Up. And so, again, that's what also happens when you're not in love right. uh, with the logo on the side. Oh, and man. and for some of y'all know, and uh, I, I'll, I'll show the picture uh, eventually also, uh, I have a pair. It, it was given to me by um, my man uh, Larry Harper when he was one of the executives at Nike. And this is probably about two, I was in Chicago, this probably is about 2007. It was a special edition Black History Month pair of Nike. So again, for all y'all people out there oh. who, uh, mm -hmm. who who are talking about, you know, shoes being black and green, uh, while we talking, I'm going to try to find it. That was a special edition Nike they put out. Oh, Henry. And again, I'm talking about it was like 2008, 2009, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, Larry gave me a pair. I never wore them. I had them on my shelf because they were special edition. But I had to go to uh, Cora Berry's um, in December. Her... Um, her fundraising deal. Oh, yeah. Uh, and what happened, so, and I had, I wore one of my uh, 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 Kente outfits, and I, I didn't have shoes to wear with them because it, it was a sneakers uh, and uh, sneakers and uh, formal deal. Mm. And so I was like, my wife was like, you got the Nike shoes I never worn. So I was like, <laughs> damn, it's good as point. I do. <laughs> so I, I went and put those on uh, and wore them to the event, and, and, and so 
So, for, so somebody says, well, you know, no. Nike did an actual uh, shoe that was black, red, black, and green. Uh -huh. It was a Black History Month special edition. So right. don't act like no. this is out of the norm. No. They did this and gave those uh, Black History Month shoes out. Right. And it's for us. I mean, Marcus Garvey gave that to us at a time when they came out with a song that said, everybody have a flag except a coon. Said right. the British got a flag. That's exactly right. Said the Irish got a oh, flag. Oh, yeah, you been reading Garvey, brother. Said, said everybody uh -huh. got a flag, except a coon. So this is our flag. Yes, sir. So if we take and break and, go and turn back to that, yes. we're going to take those same tenements and, and do the same thing like what a Jay-Z doing or any other great business person like an A.G. Gaston when there was trouble in our come neighborhoods. On come on hey, come now. On, Look, come on, you got us over here. Come on, you naming the come Giants. On. Right. When, the great we, A.G. We, Gaston. Yeah. These are the people that we, we you falling in behind. Yes, right. sir. You understand what well, I'm saying? Somebody don't know who that is. I look that up. Yeah, they got to look at the Black Titan was his book, and Black I tell Titan, the young brother. kids, yeah. I get a lot of information out of the Black Enterprise magazine, and they're, our Jet magazine is where I find out about these giants. Yes, sir. That's yes, right. sir. I mean, it's and that and that that inspired me to do the things that I'm doing at this point in time. What's the website for your show? Uh, www sneakers, uh, s n e a k e r s customs. Dot com. That's C U S T O M dot com. Customs with an S? No, custom singular. Okay. Okay. S C U S T O M dot com. Sneakers right. custom. Sneakers, you guys, you guys sneakers like, custom dot com. Yes, sir. You guys do custom. Um... Yeah, we do custom. We, and, and that's the thing. We have a program where what we want to do is help with these uh, UBC, U, uh, UB, what's the HBCU? HBCU. HBCU. Uh -huh. Where we can raise money, right? You buy your shoe. You, you know, proceeds go back to the school, and we know we need to do service. You know, we need to be of service to our people. So those are what. So, so those are, with our knowledge, yeah. these are the things that we decided to do. Check that young yes, brother down here, Paul Quinn. They've been doing a whole lot of stuff. We over me, Michael Soros. Yeah, That's Michael right. Soros. Okay. Yeah, no, Michael doing some great stuff down yes, there, and yes, Paul Quinn. We have so. to get together. So again, folks, so you had you've seen us uh, talk to a number of other uh, black designers related with Sia Collective. Uh, if you missed that, go to our YouTube channel. You'll see that. Uh, and so one of the reasons why we do this show is to provide an outlet for folks who otherwise uh, would not be able uh, to tell the story. That's why we what we do. We want you to support what we do uh, by joining our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar you give goes to support this show. Uh, and uh, it's, it is all about, again, um, what we do. Matter of fact, uh, so I, let me find this. So here it is. So Henry, uh, check this out. So if y'all think that it's like, okay, what's up with this? So is there is there a shoe in, a sh in there? Okay, so do this here, Henry. Sh show the shoe. I want to show y'all comparison. Just hold it up. Just hold it up. Just like that. Okay, zoom in. Oh, you got the Khaled Muhammad? Okay, hold on, hold on. Zoom in, zoom in. Zoom in, show the dude on the side. Do on the side. Do on the side, right there. All right, so y'all, so that's the shoe. Now, Henry, go to my iPad. Go to my iPad. These, these are uh, the Nike shoes. Uh, and th this is the back of what they look like, uh, those Nike shoes. Uh, you see they had uh, that logo on there. So if y'all are wondering, like, oh, my goodness, what's going on here? Guess what? They did black and red, black, and green. So did he. All right, folks, back to our Roadblock Unfiltered video in just one moment. All right, folks, join Reverend Dr. Jackie Hood Martin as she engages others to think like a leader. Are you looking to enhance your leadership or that of your team in 2020? Well, you can join her online course and mastermind group, How Successful People Think. She'll be your guide as you learn timeless leadership principles to apply to daily living. The offer expires on February 28th to register uh, or start the online course. Go to www live to lead.com forward slash Leesburg live to lead.com forward slash Leesburg again it is the uh, it's an online leadership course uh, that you want and it's called how successful people think and so the deadline is February 28th and so live to lead.com forward slash Leesburg now back to your Roland Martin unfiltered video